Yeah. Each one of those was spot welded. And welded. And so they stay. Copper plating and everything. And we tested it with a pair of pliers to rip it off once it was spot it welded. Was taut. It was yeah. taut. It ripped the metal and stayed on the battery. Right. So it's like. Basically the weld is stronger than the metal you're welding. Therefore, yeah. Yeah. it won't break. Yep. So since this is such a high current battery, we decided to use copper. But since copper is so good at conducting electricity, that spot welder has a tough time generating enough heat to actually get to stick. Yeah. So we put this piece of nickel on top of the copper, which has a, low, a higher resistance. Told you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a material engineering, right? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, no, that's really good. Yeah. Yeah, so it has four times much more resistance. Therefore, with this lower power, we can get the heat, and the heat helps melt the copper onto yeah. the battery. And then now, I'm making this massive contactor to go on this last row, and then have all these wires branch off and meet up with a big wire. Yep. Yep. And then we're going to take one of these apart but a bit a thicker one yeah. put a hole in it put the wires and then all those batteries will be powering this okay yeah Is how we how we do it on yeah, an industrial a... uh, uh uh 3d printer oh uh, <laughs> i'm not even sure <laughs> about how what kind of printer you even yeah. would want. Yeah. He has to study. You do that. Yeah. yeah. And then just check with him. Yeah. Get his blessing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. I asked some of my We've friends been talking who are about like, it. yeah, I asked some of my friends who are like industrial design majors and they were like recommending form labs printers, but they print with like, they do, those resin. are the resin printers. Yeah. But, so and the then material like, would be limited. I don't know what it's called, like SLS or SAS, SFS, something like that. It's basically just a tub full of like metal dust and then he uses a laser to like melt the metal onto the previous layer and then it just kind of rises it builds out yeah builds yeah, yeah yeah but that's like actual metal i would for a 3d printer because yeah. of the toxic emissions uh build a spot there a cage yeah. with a roof yep okay and then the and then panels you can bolt in zzz, 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 yep. so dust doesn't get in it yeah okay and yeah, don't put it inside here is what I'm saying. You mean outside in the backyard? Outside in the Good. backyard, Good. but build a cage. Yeah, Metal framing with, um, you know, yep. uh, high impact uh, plastic yeah. on all four sides that you bolt in. Yep. But you can, for breathability, you can, un yeah. yeah, you get it? Yep, yeah. totally. And cover. Okay, cool. That's yeah. going to be awesome. Yeah, so let's do it that way. All right. All right? Yeah. Sounds great. And yeah. build a, a raised concrete pad for it so you don't touch the thing. Yeah, that you built the cage and you can bolt the cage in. Yeah. Yeah. Dang, that's yeah. gonna be huh. cool. Yeah. yeah, because then you can start fabricating your own things. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Right. 